What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny, and today is September 23rd, Friday, or Zure Day, and it is a week 107 of Destiny, week 3 of year 3 for Rise of Iron for Zure. This week, Zure is located to the right of the reef in this one doorway, as always, with like the only spot he's in the reef, and let's approach him, see what he's got for week 107 of Destiny. So, with the new setup for Zure, this is the first Zure of Rise of Iron, so that's pretty interesting, but to start off for the ingram i guess the legacy ingram is now over here now he's brought the gallant ingrams for year one or i think year one or year two i don't know what it is now so um i'm probably not going to buy one but it is either year one or year two gauntlets from the legacy ingram you guys can pick it up for 29 strange coins but onto the titan Jur has brought the twilight garrison at 350 defense which is the new um stat roll for all the armor pieces and weapons so 350 is the new um, like beginning vendor role thing for Zure and for the Twilight Garrison it's Intellect Discipline and pressed BB twice while airborne pressed B twice while airborne to evade so it's pretty decent um, pretty good chest piece for the Titan really good for PvP to get out of the way and stuff like that so it is pretty decent picked it up for 13 strange coins but onto the Hunter Zure has bought the Celestial Nighthawk 350 defense intellect strength Golden Gun fires one shot with six times damage while granting keyhole for over penetration. So this this is a pretty decent helmet, mainly for PVE because it can help take down bosses pretty easily and other like high tier enemies inside of PVE like that. So picked up for 13 strange coins as well. And onto the Warlock, a new set of boots for the Warlock, the Transversive Steps. I think that's Transversive, yeah I said that right, Transversive Steps. 350 defense, discipline strength, faster movement speed while crouching, ammo pickups automatically reload that weapon type. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have not used these yet. I'm probably going to be picking them up because they're new exotics. I don't have my strange coins on me right now, so uh, maybe I might transfer them over. But 13 strange coins for those are pretty decent, I guess. I can't really say much about them because I've never used them, but they are new new exotic that you're selling, so be sure to pick that up. And onto the weapon, Jure has bought the Monte Carlo 350 attack, dealing damage with this weapon, reduces your melee cooldown, and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. So, Monte Carlo is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but um, it does have a really cool um, what's it called? Ornament that you can get for the Monte Carlo. So that's pretty decent there. But um, I'm probably gonna be picking up these up right now because I don't have these uh, uh, boots yet. So, bought those Monte Carlo. I don't already got one, so. I can just infuse it up, but hopefully I can get an, art, uh, an ornament. So which one is he selling? The Super Spy, which is for the Monte Carlo, and the Kavasta of 7G appearance, the Baru of Aeronautics. I don't I don't know if I said that right, but it sounds right to me. So they cost 25 silver dust. I don't have any right now, so I can't really get any of these, which kind of sucks. But uh, I did get a the Special Ops ornament for the Mita Multi-Tool for... Uh, that I got it from the weekly heroics, which is pretty sweet. I got it from a radiant treasure, and onto the curious jurors by the plasma drive, stealth drive, heavy ammo, three of coins, glass needles, as well as the exchange of two strange coins for emotive lights. So, for this week, I'm probably picking up those boots like I already did. I don't need any of these, I can't buy any ornaments, and I'm probably gonna be picking up three coins and heavy ammo. I'm probably gonna be buying a lot of heavy ammo due to the fact that I can use them to help rank up my factions. And it'll help me get gear above 365, which is the max cap for blues. Blues max at 350, 365. And to get above that, you really have to use legendaries, exotics, and stuff like that to get to uh, 385. So I'm going to be buying a lot of heavy ammo to put towards my factions to rank up my uh, dead orbit for my hunter and to get higher level gear, higher light gear for my hunter to increase my light. I'm trying to get to at least... 370 375 before the raid comes out which is like in a couple hours actually so hopefully i can reach that and i'm still looking for a raid team i have not done um not found any team yet to do the raid with which kind of sucks but oh well i'm probably going to uh not even attempt worlds first but i would like to because i have not attempted worlds first on any raids yet inside of destiny which kind of sucks but oh well but um i'm probably buying uh heavy ml3 coins stuff like that the boots the warlock boots so uh that's what I'll be picking up for this week. But if you guys want to pick up something from Jure before uh, he leaves this weekend, be sure to do that because when he leaves, he won't be selling this stuff, obviously, probably for a while. So pick it up before he leaves. And I guess this will be wrapping up what Jure has bought for week 107 of Destiny, week 3 of year 3 for Rise of Iron for Jure. If you guys enjoyed this video of what Jure has brought for this week, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later back inside Destiny. Peace.